the editorial team would like to send greetings and thanks to the valuable listeners who have always shown interest in accompanying 22 Hour Channel in today's news about the COVID-19 situation both domestically and internationally. Let's update you with the last day and hosted news that has happened in the past 22 hours in the following video. Please stay tuned. Continuously updating the flood situation in China. The world's largest evacuation image to avoid the Three Gorges Dam disaster, the Chinese side asked Vietnam to open the border so that the Chinese could flood in. At the same time, Mr. Xi Jinping also asked 20 countries around the world to donate money to China urgently yesterday night. Ladies and gentlemen, storms and floods have not yet let go of the country with the most population in the world during the past 54 days and nights, after turbo floods yesterday in the southern provinces of China country. The provinces of China include Guangxi, Guangdong, Fujian, Hubei, Hunan, Chongqing, Sichuan and Wuhan. Entering the historic rainy season and culminating in the past, heavy rains continuously fell from the sky, making 28 southern provinces of China submerged in water. And in recent days, heavy rainfall and high winds have continued to ravage China making Xi Jinping's government unable to eat and sleep well. Continuously rising water levels make 53 rivers exceed the red warning level. Many houses and land have been flooded and many people have gone missing. However, the administration of Mr. Xi Jinping is set to still go to occupy the South China Sea. According to the China Central Hydro Meteorological Administration, within the next six days from today, China will continue to see heavy to very heavy rains in many places such as Shanghai and Beijing along with heavy rains. In some other areas, many Chinese cities also experienced hail, flash floods, and very serious landslides. Not only that, water from the upper reaches of the Yangtze River and the Three Gorges Dam continues to flood into many areas, causing many places to still be submerged in water up to 2 meters, in some places up to 5 meters deep, and 6 meters. All of China's hundreds of millions of people have to live in anxiety when medicine and food are scarce and epidemics are raging. This is the reason why, yesterday, billions of Chinese people had to evacuate urgently overnight and the local authorities of many provinces and cities of China, which bordered the border of Vietnam, had requested to evacuate, asked Vietnam to open the border for them to escape, but the border of Vietnam was still closed and bolted because it's dangerous for the Chinese to spill over. As a result, some Chinese people have crossed the border of Laos and Cambodia. They also ran to the Great Wall of China tourist area and Mongolia for shelter. Currently, Chinese government agencies are calling on many countries around the world to support China with money or food through humanitarian relief. However, up to now, many rich countries in the world in Europe such as Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Portugal, the Netherlands and some countries in the Americas do not support China. Because Xi Jinping's government has lost trust in the above countries through the COVID-19 epidemic, some countries in Asia such as ASEAN and especially Cambodia have supported China. Country in recent days. It is known that Vietnam has donated you Sony $100,000 to China. Observers said that Vietnam is small in size and has a population density equal to that of a large Chinese city. Vietnam's economy is also on the rise. However, in times of tribulation and difficulties, floods and heavy rains, Vietnam's big waves also supported the Chinese side. However, Xi Jinping's government still brings their country's navy out to the South China Sea to harass and harass. This is considered an act of inhumanity and lack of humanity and this is the reason why heavy rains, high winds, earthquakes, tsunamis, flash floods and landslides continue to fall on the Chinese side. Ladies and gentlemen, according to China's Central Disaster Warning Administration, rain is still pouring down many southern provinces of China and it is likely to spread to some northern provinces of the country, it can even spread to some northwestern provinces of Vietnam. Therefore, provinces such as Hajong, Langsun, Tai and Quang, Lai Chao and Lao Cai today and in the next few days will have heavy to very heavy rains from China, so beware of floods. Sweeping and landslides suggest that people have to be on high alert. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a news that is said to be shocking not only for China but also for countries in Asia as well as around the world. It was at 2300 hours yesterday night, after many days of heavy rain, 
high winds, earthquakes, floods, landslides, flash floods, tornadoes and dike breaks. Chinese state media and the country's officials have also acknowledged that the Three Gorges Dam, one of the largest in the world, is about to burst because it cannot withstand the turbo floods. Happening in China The country's officials admit that the world's largest dam is being severely disfigured by the ongoing historic flash floods, and China has also revealed that the dam cannot withstand if the water level continues to rise. High the next few days And in recent times, the Chinese site is showing very dangerous signs when giving false information. However, yesterday the country's authorities also acknowledged that the dam is unlikely to last for the next few days and the danger is unpredictable. If it happens to break, two-thirds of China will be washed out into the South China Sea. So the question is whether the Three Gorges Dam will break or not. In response to the above question, the Three Gorges Dam Management Group yesterday at 11 p.m. officially spoke out about the possibility that this dam could completely break if the water level in the Yangtze River was raised in a short period of time, next few days. Or the rainfall in southern China Wonies in the coming days still answer the question of whether or not the Three Gorges Dam is broken or not. A reporter from China's Global Times interviewed the director of the Three Gorges Corporation, which directly manages the dam. To have a proper answer for the audience, so that the audience no longer doubts about the largest dam on this planet. Yesterday, Mr. Chen Jilin is one of the leading irrigation experts in the world. Currently, he also holds the position of managing director of the Three Gorges Dam, answering many questions related to the dam to China's Global Times as follows. He said that the Three Gorges Dam is a hydroelectric project. The largest electricity on the planet is in China. It plays an important role in water regulation and power generation on the Yangtze River in Wuhan City. However, since its construction in 1994, this dam has always been questioned and criticized for its ability. China is suffering from severe floods in recent decades, affecting more than 20 million people in southern China. The Three Gorges Dam has contributed to the mitigation of flooding on the Yangtze River. After the second flood this year on this river, the Three Gorges Dam is still standing and it has not been broken as reported by the world's media. Still, many questions remain about the largest dam on the planet. How did the Three Gorges Dam perform during this year's severe flooding? Is the dam making me worse in China and the lower Yangtze River? Is the Three Gorges Dam deformed or even facing the risk of dam failure as some international media have reported in recent times? China's Global Times reporter also directly interviewed the above director and the director had the following answers. Ladies and gentlemen, the question asked by the Chinese newspaper is that this year's flood reminds many people of China's historic 1998 flood, and if the Three Gorges Dam did not exist, this year's flooding would be catastrophic. How cruel! Then to answer the above question, Mr. Chen Jilin said that During the 1998 flood, along the Yangtze River Basin, the water level measured at the hydrological station in Wuhan City, considered the most dangerous on the Yangtze River, reached 45.2 meters, higher than 0.25 meter. Compared to the safe level, the Wuhan area then faced an extremely stressful situation. More than 1 million Chinese soldiers and local people had to strain themselves to cope with the floods at that time, and according to simulations and calculations, if there were three gorges dammed before the 1998 floods, the water level in Wuhan station will not exceed 44.5 meters, and flood water in Wuhan area where the drainage of Dongping Lake and Baying Lake will decrease from 10 billion cubic meters to only 2 billion cubic meters, releasing pressure flood control in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River. And during this year's flood, without the Three Gorges Dam, the water level in Wuhan, Anhui, Hubei, Baying and Fuqing provinces would exceed high safety levels. The hydrological station of Wuhan City, Hubei province will experience higher than normal water levels. In this case, the middle and lower Yangtze River will face a particularly severe flood situation, and it is likely that all 28 southern provinces of China will be submerged under sea level. The next question is that some people think that the continuous discharge of the Three Gorges Dam has aggravated the flooding situation in the middle and lower parts of the Two River, and is this true? Then the director of the Three Gorges Dam said that, Flood discharge, the way the reservoir controls the amount of water flowing through the flood discharge works. Normally the reservoir will allow water to flow through the generating units, 
Only when the amount of water exceeds the capacity of the reservoir units will the discharge ports be used. However, flood discharge does not mean that the reservoir loses its flood prevention and control function. For example, the Three Gorges Dam Reservoir has seen a discharge of 53,000 cubic meters per second and outflow of 35,000 cubic meters per second. The Three Gorges Dam has helped reduce flood pressure on rivers in the Middle and Lower Yangtze. Thus, you can understand that the Three Gorges Dam was built to block floods very effectively. And the third question, the journalist asked if this year's floods continue. Can the Three Gorges Dam maintain its ability to regulate water? The management director of the Three Gorges Dam replied that the flood prevention and control task of the Three Gorges Dam largely depends on the drainage areas and areas in Dongdan Lake with the reservoir area up to 22 billion cubic meters of water. The Three Gorges Dam was designed to prevent major flooding in the upper Yangtze River. It works quite effectively to prevent floods from spiraling out of control, and if floods are caused by heavy rains in the middle and lower Yangtze River, surrounding cities will have to rely mainly on public utilities their flood escape program. In such a situation, the Three Gorges Dam can still play an important role by retaining water in the reservoir to reduce the amount of water flowing to the cities in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River. Follow-up question, some foreign media during the past time said that the Three Gorges Dam is deformed and at risk of breaking is very high, up to 98%. He said that this dam is that true or not? The manager of the dam said that, we admit that in the past 60 days and nights, China is suffering from heavy to very heavy rains, even flash floods and landslides in the upstream. The Three Gorges Dam has been operating safely and normally for the past few years, with no so-called defamation occurring in the Three Gorges Dam or any other risk. Since the beginning of 1994, our safety monitoring unit has installed 12,000 devices in and around the dam. The monitoring process includes defamation monitoring, seepage flow and seepage forces, earthquakes, hydraulics as well as dynamics. In addition to modern monitoring technology and equipment, there are actual monitoring, regularly checking the condition of the dam. In addition, the government of the state of China also mobilized nearly 50 battalions, battalions, and legions of the Chinese army to be on standby 24 hours a day to protect the dam's safety by hostile forces. Foreign countries constantly threatened to launch disrupting rockets, but so far it has not broken. That shows that the dam deserves to be one of the largest dams on the planet, and China is very proud of it. At the end of the reporter's question, the director also smiled and said that there will be no force or a flood that can engulf or break the Three Gorges Dam. Ladies and gentlemen, however, according to observers, these are just words of reassurance from China's public opinion in the context of constant rains and landslides. And it is forecasted that in the next few days, turbo rains will continue to fall on the Chinese side and the manager of the Three Gorges Dam must speak directly to reassure the public, not really. In fact, this dam is currently shaken and broken at any time. It is said that without fire there is no smoke. Because of that, the world has been constantly monitoring the latest moves and news about the Three Gorges Dam and we, the program makers, are also constantly monitoring issues related to the flood situation. Earthquakes, tsunamis, flash floods, landslides and the Three Gorges Dam of China. As the most accurate and recent information becomes available, we will update and send you and the following newsletters. As for today's program, due to the limited program time, we would like to pause here. Wishing you a day full of life and joy. Best regards and see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any contribution to the program, please leave a comment below or write us a letter. On behalf of the team, I me, Phương Thảo, would like to thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.